Okay guys, so we're looking today at writing exponential functions from word problems. And we do have two different kinds that we need to look at. Okay, the first one we're going to look at is what happens when all of the values are given to you. Okay, that's what it says here at the top. All the values are given. So the first example, when rabbits were first brought to Australia in the 1800s, they had no natural enemies, so their numbers increased exponentially. Assume that there were 20 rabbits first brought to Australia, and they increased by a common ratio of 1.5 every month. So if you recall, looking at the formula, the A value stands for what we start with. Our starting amount, our starting value, whatever we're starting with. In this case, we're starting with rabbits, and we're starting with 20 of them. So we know our initial amount of rabbits is 20. And the B value is our rate, either our growth rate or our decay rate. In this case, it would be the 1.5. And remember, guys, that if B is bigger than 1, then it's a growth. So in this case, it's not a decay rate, it's a growth rate which we should have known already because it says that the rabbit population is increasing. So now we can write our equation. So our equation is y equals, we put the starting value first, 20 rabbits. In parentheses, we put the growth rate and then raise to the x power. Don't forget that x power, guys, because this is an exponential function. It does need to have that exponent. Now that seemed pretty easy because the two values, 20 and 1.5, were directly in the word problem already. But we do have problems like this one where we are increasing or decreasing by a percentage. And we have to find out what B is. We don't know B right off the bat. So let's read through the problem first. The starting salary for a new employee at the Thrifty Federal Credit Union is $25,000. That's his starting salary. So that should tell you right off the bat, that is our A value. The salary increases by 3% each year. So in order to find out what our B value is, we know that we're increasing by 300%. If you see the word increase, that means we're going to be adding. Okay? We're going to take 100% because we always start with 100%. 100% of this salary, 100% of anything. Whatever you are given initially, you have 100% of it. And if we're increasing, we add, and we're adding in this case 3%. Keep in mind that if this had been decreasing, then we would have subtracted instead of added. And we can do this in our calculator. So you would pull up your calculator. I'm make it a little bit smaller so we can see it. One moment. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how to make it that much smaller. I guess I will just move it down here so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so on the calculator what you would do is you would go to calculate and you would type in 100% plus 3%. So 100, go to the question mark down here below the enter button and choose percent. We're adding 3%, so I need to find the percent button again. And then we hit enter, and we will get our B value. In this case, our B value is, you can see it over here. It gives us a fraction, so instead of hitting enter, hitting control enter will give you the decimal, which is 1.03. So now we have our B value. Our B value is 1.03. It is clearly a growth, because it's bigger than 1. So our equation then would be y equals 25,000 parentheses, 1.03 raised to the x power. Okay? If you're having a hard time with this, make sure to check in with your teacher today during review, and we'll see you next time.